revealed. Why Real Madrid decided to sell Martin Odegaard this summer, Arsenal deal almost done. The last day or so has seen Arsenal's links to Martin Odegaard ramp up, with a deal now seemingly very close to being completed. Reports would begin to emerge in the Spanish press on Tuesday evening, stating that Real Madrid's negotiations with Arsenal to sell Odegaard are at a very advanced stage and the deal could be imminent. The deal for Odegaard has since been picked up in the British media, with fees of around £30.35 meters being touted by various sources. One Spanish journalist has also gone as far as to suggest that Odegaard will not be a Madrid player later today, Wednesday. Why though, have Real Madrid now decided to sell the 22-year-old? After returning from his Arsenal loan spell, we covered reports in June that stated Odegaard was expected to stay in Madrid for the 2021-22 campaign. However, journalist Fabrizio Romano has since provided an insight into why Los Blancos are now letting the midfielder go. And, as mentioned above, Real were indeed looking to keep Odegaard according to Romano. However, their plan was to sell Isco and keep the Norwegian. But as Isco had no proposals this summer, Real agreed that they would instead part with Odegaard and keep Isco. Real Madrid they were hoping to keep Martin Odegaard to give him a chance, selling Isco and keeping Odegaard. Then what happened? Isco had no proposals this summer, and so Real Madrid decided together with Carlo Ancelotti to sell Martin Odegaard and to keep Isco because he had no proposals. Arsenal were hoping and hoping and hoping. I always say, if they have 1% of a chance they will go for Martin Odegaard, and this is what they did. Waiting and waiting and waiting till the end of the market, and now the deal has been completed. The fee will be around €35.40. Everything has been agreed between Real Madrid and Arsenal they are now at paperwork's time, then that will be signed and completed, but it is almost done, so it's a here we go for Arsenal. This article was edited by Ben Browning.